Hi everyone, thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home practice session. I uh, just noticed that we're missing some of these big lights, so if Elizabeth or Sandy will come into my office and turn those on, that would be great. All right, my name is Samantha Ellendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. I'm here to help you establish and maintain a consistent speak out home practice routine. Today's topic is pets. Everybody say pets with intent. Make sure to get the sound in front of you. Parkinson's wants to bring everything back. So let's speak out while we say pets, ready? Pets. Let's say it again with more intent. Pets. Now go ahead and spell the word pets with intent. Connect all the letters. Ready? P-E-T-S. Let's do it again. More intent. P-E-T-S. Very good. Go ahead and take a sip of water and we will get the lighting situated in just a moment. Hopefully you can see everything okay. Do you have a pet? Do you have a photo of your pet? Don't worry if you don't have the photo handy right now, but for the rest of the week, why not plan on posting a photo of your pet in the chat? Don't, don't, uh, run and get the photo now or figure out where it is now, but you can post that later in the week also. Let's go ahead and start with the first speak out exercise. Lift your voice and speak out. Ready? May me my mo moo. Again. May me forward. Project your voice over your computer. Let's do it again. May me my mo moo. Good. Let's do it again. May me And one more, and let's really stretch out the vowels. Ready? May, me, my, mo, moo. Good. All right. Let's all take a sip of water. We're going to take a sip of water, and then we'll get the lighting situated in just a moment. Thank you. All right, speak out exercise number two, the ahs. Deliberately open your mouth wide and project the ah forward, up and over your computer. Ready? Ah. Good, let's do it again. Ah, uh, the sound should be clear and consistent all the way through. Ready? Keeping it strong all the way to the end. Let's do it again. Ah. Uh, and let's do a short one. Ready? Ah. Uh, Let's take a sip of water with intent. Grab that cup. Are you thinking about intent all the time? 
Are you being deliberate and purposeful? That is so important for, well, really everybody, but even more important for people with Parkinson's. When you focus and concentrate and you're deliberate and purposeful, you are activating a motor system that is not as dependent on dopamine. And so it functions better than the automatic motor system. Let's move on to speak out exercise number three. Project out a steady ah and then slowly glide up. Here we go. Ah. Ah. Go on, let's do it again. skip we don't want to do ah we want to get all the little notes in there let's do it again ah ah good all right we're working with intent. Let's do it again. Uh, good. Uh, very deliberate. Let's do one more. Ready? Uh, take a sip of water. All right, we're going to be moving on to the next exercise, which is the counting. The counting exercise. So for the ahs and the glides, we had our mouth open wide, but for the counting, now we're adding words. And in the Speak Out Therapy program, it works on a hierarchy level. So we start with simple, and then we start adding in words, and numbers are real simple. And so we start with numbers, and then we go into the reading and the conversation. So we're going to do the numbers. We're going to lift every number with intent. Lift your voice and project it forward. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six. Ten. It's nice and even. If your speech tends to rush or go too fast, stretch the vowels out. Think about every number. So it's one, two. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. All right, let's go backward now with intent. Sixteen, fifteen, fourteen, thirteen, 
12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent. Okay, take a sip of water with intent. All right, today's topic is pets. Let's go ahead. What a cute pet. Does anybody have a pet like this that looks like this? I look forward to seeing the photos of your pets that you post, not just today, but later in the week. Don't, don't interrupt your speech exercises to go find the photo, but you can post them later this week. Let's read these sentences two times. The first time we're getting used to the words. The second time we're using even more intent. Here we go. Dogs and cats are popular pets. Now more intent. Dogs and cats are popular pets. I know it sounds funny when we exaggerate, but we're using the muscles more. It's good, so exaggerate. All right, next one. Some people have pet fish and birds. Now more intent, ready? Some people have pet fish and birds. Really stretch out the highlighted words. Ready? A horse is a big pet. Again, with more intent. A horse is a big pet. Does anybody have a pet horse? Go ahead and tell us. Later you can share a photo. Tell us the horse's name. Here's another sentence. Ready? Other people have guinea pigs and rabbits for pets. Does anybody have a guinea pig or a rabbit for a pet? Let's read the sentence with more intent. Here we go. Other people have guinea pigs and rabbits for pets. And here's a cute pet rabbit. Does anybody like to hang out at pet stores when you're feeling down? Maybe you can go to a pet store. All right, go ahead and take a sip of water and then we'll do the conversation exercise. Before we fill in the blanks, what I'd like for you to do is describe a Dalmatian. Use your very best voice. As you're speaking, think about saying every single word with intent. Go ahead and describe a Dalmatian. Okay, so now we're going to read the first two and then fill in the blanks. Ready? Dalmatian, beagle. What'd you come up with? Let's read it again with even more intent. Ready? Dalmatian, beagle. Now, this is not Charlie, but Lisa said she put this here, this picture of this German Shepherd in here specifically for Charlie. So this dog is saying hi to Charlie. And those of you who chat, you know Charlie. Go ahead and read the first two and then fill in the blanks with two more in the same category. Ready? Canary, cockatoo, Again, with even more intent. Canary, cockatoo. Very good. Let's go ahead and do Dr. Boone's words. The significance of these words is that as your tongue is moving to say these nonsense words, it's moving in the same way the tongue moves when you swallow. 
As you say these nonsense words, exaggerate the G's, the K's, and the NG's. Those sounds specifically force the back of the tongue to go up and hit the roof of the mouth. Ready? Gula ga ga ga. Again. Gula ga ga ga. And the next one. Kuka mangu ka. Again. Kuka mangu ka. Ready? Gangla. Again. Gangla. And the last one. Kukla. Kukla. Very good. Take a sip of water with intent. We're going to move on to the bonus reading. We got to hear the bell. There we go. And let's go to the bonus reading. We're going to read it two times. The first time we're becoming familiar with the words. We do the best we can. But the second time it's like we're on top of a mountain. We're really exaggerating. All right, here we go. Nothing compares to the joy of coming home to a loyal companion. The unconditional love of a pet can do more than keep you company. Pets may also decrease stress, improve heart health, and even help children with their emotional and social skills. All right, so when we do the bonus reading, we're working on being able to concentrate, speak out for the whole passage. All right, really focused. Let's read it again with more intent. Here we go. Nothing compares to the joy of coming home to a loyal companion. The unconditional love of a pet can do more than keep you company. Pets may also decrease stress, improve heart health, and even help children with their emotional and social skills. Very nice. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's session on pets. I hope you got a good workout. You can download today's reading material. Take what you learned in this session. Practice, 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 and then practice some more. I will be back tomorrow. Thank you, everyone.